Alright dude, so here's the um, first workup of the selection area. This is pretty tricky. I'm uh, running 9.3 so I can write the tables because this stuff needs to all report to the spawns and I'm trying to minimize the code so I think I've got it pretty tight. It took me about four hours, a couple hours yesterday and a couple hours this morning and about 20 pages of notes and scribbles and X and in trash and stuff to get it <coughs> kind of the whole thing together first so it keeps the code down to a to a minimum um, so I'll just <coughs> kinda show you how it works it's these are gonna be the buttons over here and right now I got it set to address um, in the table up to 12 uh, so I just got f like four here, and then this would be um, no button you know, if you didn't want to uh, anything in that spot. So you'd come over here and make this active, and then select whatever one you want. So I want one, and then this area, select the one you want. We don't want nothing there. Select the area. You get the idea. Select them all and this is all going to write to a table <coughs> so that each spawn point knows um, what category bumper is supposed to spawn in that area <coughs> and then there'll be a scene manager that uh, directs all that stuff and tells it where to spawn so uh, <coughs> it worked out pretty good in the spawn selector um, I pretty much got the code down to this much of stuff and actually this code is all set up so that for even for all the areas I only have to change this one variable right here to represent the location so you can have as many locations as you want you just have to add columns and rows to the table um, and uh, took me a while to get it down to because it was looking like it was going to be a lot of code and it really took me a while to refine it that's the hardest process getting it down down slim slim so anyways this is the first look at it I should have it pretty much all together today I'm gonna move on to um, the spawn managers part um, and then I still have to place the um, you know <coughs> defense attack mode and kinda switch the numbers but I can do that just by I'm actually be doing that by adding some more self attributes so when there'll be one game level attribute that's whether attack or defense and then you'll have a spawn location number that represents uh, a spawn attack location this will be spawn defense location so um, in the rules it'll just be an <clears throat> be another set of uh, another set of rules identical to this and it'll just uh, you know say if uh, switch it'll just reverse everything it'll just be a couple of expressions that <coughs> that need to be changed that's one of the nice things about tables if you get them arranged right <coughs> you don't have to uh, you don't have to change a whole bunch of things you can kinda write all the code and then uh, just change a couple of numbers and all the rest of the code just falls along with it so <coughs> anyways that's the first look at it and I'll post this privately on my YouTube page for you Alright, I'll talk to you later.